Hello everyone. I'm so sorry I can't be with you tonight. However, I couldn't completely miss the chance to take a moment to share some thoughts with all of you. The lesson I cherish the most is how important it is to love what you do. If you love what you do and it's making you happy, all the hard work and perseverance will pay off. I once had a guidance counselor tell me that I shouldn't play basketball, uh, that it would never amount to anything for me. His negativity towards me made me stronger. You can't stop people from trying to limit your dreams, but you can stop it from becoming a reality. Your dreams are up to you. I encourage you to always be curious, always seek out things you love, and always work hard once you find it. So with that, I'll let you carry on with your evening. Please know I'm thinking of you, supporting you, and encouraging you always. Peace. Hello. Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your girl eating with poop. And today we are eating buffalo wild wings. Y'all see it? Buffalo. <laughs> I told y'all we would. I hope y'all enjoyed my intro. What Kobe said: Never give up on your dreams. Never, never, never. But you guys, before we get into this video, I want y'all to comment, like. And subscribe and turn your post notification bells on if y'all ain't already did it. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate each and every last one of y'all. Okay, let's get into this prayer so we can get into this video. Amen, amen. Yo, so... Happy Black History Month. Hey, so every um every video I will be doing a video with a black person that has made history. And I chose Kobe today, you guys. So we're gonna talk about Kobe after we eat. And we're gonna see some little clips from him. And that's what we're gonna do this mukbang. Boom. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? I'm ready because I'm happy that I'm eating chicken. Y'all ain't had chicken in forever. It's been a while since your girl ate chicken. I've been eating seafood. Seafood. Okay. First, let's get a thumbnail. Yes. Is it me? Right. Am I the only person that like my chicken fried hard? I know I can't be. I, I hate soggy chicken. I would tell you, go back in there and put it back in there. Mm -hmm. I got um this brand. I don't know if they sell it anywhere else, but I found this at H E B. I found that at H E B. It's a cream soda. I probably won't end up drinking it. And end up drinking my ice my water. I've been doing really good with the no soda thing. And plus that no burp challenge was enough soda for me for a while. For a while. Yo, I should have wore um, I should have 
should have worn yellow and purple today. But I don't think I have yellow or purple. No, I have yellow. I don't think I have anything purple though. Look at that. These lemon pepper wings be lit. What's our favorite wing? I officially need something to drink. That's hot. That is hot. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry, Mama. God, I probably did I see your mama because you know she be watching your video. I feel caught in because. You know I ain't raised you like that. Just burping in front of people. Just nasty. Sorry, mama. I'm going to make you proud one day, lady. So, y'all. We're going to start talking about um, Kobe basketball career. And then we're going to move along to his, um, to his, louder, motivational speaker. Because if you go back and watch some, like, old, clip, old clips of Kobe, he was a really, really good inspirational speaker. Like this clip. ...that I don't have. But I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to keep going, and I'll figure these things out as we go, right? And you just continue to build that way. So that, I try to live by that all the time. And what brings you the most joy right now? Being with my family. Really? That is, man, that is the most fun. It's just, um, you know, it's uh, hanging out with them all summer. Told y'all. Well, I tell y'all. Bye, y'all. Don't you ever doubt me. Mm. Mm. Why well, is a rubber band around my finger? Oh, I probably was going to use it for my hair and never did it. But. Rest in peace, Kobe. I will say this before I get into before I get into Kobe talking about him. Y'all. That man was human. That man had a family. He had people that genuinely loved him. He had people that he genuinely inspired. And he had people hurt. By his death, he had a wife and he left behind three daughters. And can you imagine dying with your child and, and your wife and your children are left to deal with that hurt and pain? Not only is she mourning your death, but she's mourning the death of you and your child. So I said that to say, like to all you conspiracy theory people let it go like let, can he can he die in peace like quit doing stuff for clout because of the backfire on you you will be known as oh uh, you got famous off of talking stuff about kobe or you got famous off of beefing with it like respect the dead man Yeah, I love me some Elvis now. I love me some Elvis. Like people always want to, 
people are, are on the internet, oh, he was a rapist, he deserved to die, this and that and this and that. Elvis was married to a dang old minor. But y'all love him and now y'all not dragging his name. Like, stop it. Just let that man live in peace. How would you like to be with you? If you did all this good in the world and then you died, you want to be remembered for the bad that you done or that you was accused of doing? Oh, okay. Didn't think so. So, yeah. I just had to get that off my chest. This cream soda don't sound so bad. Okay, I'm a drum person, as y'all can see. And I ain't got number of flats left, so. I'm going to eat this drum, and then we're going to get into Cody. Cody! And while we eat, y'all can watch another clip. How much more do you want from me? More. How much more successful do you want me to be? More successful. How many records can my records break? More records. But, but I'm the best. But are you a different animal and the same beast? What the f does that mean, Kobe Bryant? You're welcome. What the f is he talking about? ate all day. The girl is hungry. Mm. Okay, y'all. I'll eat the rest later. Hold on. First and foremost, I would like to say rest in peace to a king, Kobe Bryant who the world loved and hated. You know, you can't get that successful, <laughs> successful without having haters, especially in basketball. It's a competitive sport. <laughs> Kobe Bean Bryant was an American professional basketball player, a shooting guard. Bryant entered the, nation, the NBA directly from high school and played his entire 20 seasons. Perfect. 20 season professional career with the league at L.A. Lakers. Like, he played his entire career with them. That's amazing. Yo. <coughs> he was married. Y'all, everyone knows Vanessa. And he had four daughters. And he left behind three. And I want to personally sent out a, a prayer for them because they need all of the prayer right now. Shout out to um, their strength because I don't think that I would be able to deal with social media and his wife you know issued a statement so I applaud her for that. Um, his career average was 25 points 5.2 rebounds, 4.7 assists, and 1,346 games. That is a lot. That is really good. Kobe was amazing. That's just his NBA side. I really wanted to speak on his um motivational speaker side. Like I was just watching some videos and some quotes. And in this video, he said, in order to do something, you have to be the best. He said, he had took <laughs> he had took two weeks off of basketball practice when he was 12 years old to dance because he wanted to dance at this little talent show thing. And y'all, he killed it. 
Like he killed the he was literally the best. If he put his mind and thought into it, he did it and he was the best at it. And that's why his records are so high. Like that shout out to Kobe. And that is who I'm starting off my Black History of Month featuring Kobe Bryant. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notification bell to let so you can be notified when I post a video. Um yes. See y'all next time. Happy Black History Month to all my subscribers and all my African American people. Goodbye. Oh, uh, this your girl eating with poo. Goodbye. You know, the idea is a very simple one, and you know, the Mamba mentality simply means trying to be the best version of yourself. That's what the mentality means. It means every day you know, you're trying to become better. And it's a constant quest, it's an infinite quest.